chap batik. As you can see, uh, this, for example, this pattern or this motif here, it came from a click chair as big as this only. And then uh, this is dyed through the wax process. And it's all made of cliches joined together, but you can hardly see the joint, right? Even an Indonesian artisan, batik artisan would say, my, uh, your batik artisans are really great artisans because you don't see any connection at all, any joint, right? But the, the, the logo of this is just like, the plate is only as big as this, this big, this big. So like uh, three inches by four inches. But this is Susi, this is the big Susi, yeah? So this is the so-called chap, okay? This is my variation. This is very fusion, right? Yes. Uh, this is Barong Tagalog, all with the embroidery, right? And this is Batik Chap. I combine it. And also, as you can see, this is the U style Barong, where it is half pluck. The Batik shirt is always open front, but this is only half pluck, okay? Uh, this one is rainbow design. As you can see, you can only see the design when you get nearer to the weather. Huh? closer to the weather. But if when, for example, enters a ballroom, you can, you can only see dark color, all dark. But as he comes nearer, close to you, then you see the, uh, you can design. define the design. This is the rainbow collection. We call it rainbow, okay? For Filipinas, this one sells a lot because this is batik tulis, not the chap. The chap, you make use of the cliche. This is by hand. Pure hand, pure manual. In fact, this is more expensive than with like this with overall motif because this is all batik tulis, all batik tulis. See, and this is typically a Filipino barong, right? You can see the U style. In the Philippines, you have it in embroidery, right? Here we have it batik tulis. For uh, for rupiah, it's around one million one hundred. Of course, one million one hundred will translate to four thousand pesos. 4,500 to... 4, but we have the Batik Tulis, which is all over. Uh, I think it's on display in a Plaza, Indonesia. That sells about 10,000 to 12,000 pesos. It's double because the, the work time for that would be 8 to 10 weeks. Actually, for women, it will be more of the color. And now what is being trendy now is like this blazer, you know? The women always would complain to me, Tita Telma, you don't think about women. First of all, the women are very hard to please, right? They have so many styles, 2,000 to 10,000 styles. So to make them happy, I came up with this blazer, which is used over blue jeans or black pants or black skirt, or maybe just a cocktail dress, a black cocktail dress. If you want to use it for office, it can be. When you want to use it for evening cocktails, you also can use this. And this is our best seller among the ladies. Yeah, most of the time, they will just uh, buy the ladies' colors, like for example, the pink salmon, the red, the burnt orange, the tangerine, and lemon, lemon yellow. But surprisingly, the Men are now metrosexual men, right? Yeah. They, they like the bold colors, the bold prints, right? So these are only for the ladies. How much is the blazer for the ladies? Uh, the blazer is, a, is a costly because it is with lining, as you can see. And it is really permapress. You can feel it. It's really permapress. So this will sell like 5,500 pesos to 6,000 pesos. Yeah, you can also convert it into a shawl if you want. Some people would just buy the cloth and then they will have it uh, styled into a shawl. That can also be. We also can have skirts. Okay. You can also use skirts. Uh, and also a dress. Uh, like, you don't really need a style for your dress. A, we call it a sack dress among us women, right? The design of the uh, batik is the design itself of the dress. Okay. You really can attract already uh, people looking at you because of the design. It's not the style of the dress, but it's the, 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 the motif of the batik. Like, again, this is, you know, these are all cliches, but you can hardly see the joints. You, 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 you think it's printed by machine. No, it's not. It's by chap. Mm -hmm. 
and it doesn't bleed and it can only be hand, it can be hand wash you don't have to go to a dry cleaner in fact if the dry cleaners put a lot of chemicals it might destroy your batik your barong batik